Morning everybody. I'm going to do a few videos today because um, I can and because I feel like it <laughs> and because I've sort of neglected my channel somewhat the last few months I suppose. So firstly um, talking about me I have gone through three and a half years of grieving and I'll always grieve and I'll always mourn out and until I'm with him again and join with him again. But I think today, and I don't know why, a realisation has struck me that um, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to get through the grief. I'm going to get through the depression. I'm going to get through the anguish. I'm going to get through the um, trauma of the illnesses that I've had. I'm going to get through the dental work that I'm having to have. I'm going to get through all the problems with the house, with the leaks and the pipes and the fences. It's all going to be okay. I will get things done and I'll get things done gradually and I'll get things done in my own time. I, my son came this morning and we were talking about what needs to be in the house and um, there are two reasons that I want to get everything sorted. One is because um, it's getting me down somewhat, the messiness and um, things all over the place, clothes everywhere, there's clothes that need to be given to friends, really good stuff, some of which I've, I've not worn. Um, there's clothes that can be washed and then donated. And then there's other stuff that can probably be, be dumped, not much to be dumped, but given away and donated mainly. Certain things I'll keep, of course, because I need to dress. But um, I remember we were talking about, you know, getting pretty wardrobes upstairs, blinds on the windows, um, getting the carpets all cleaned. I don't want to change them, they're good carpets. Um, I'm just generally sorting everything out. And it's going to mean a spend. It's going to be mean a spend of, I don't want to go above 15,000 quid. Um, but as I say, it's for myself and also it's looking towards when I'm no longer here and my kids have to sell this place and split the proceeds between them. I want it to be in saleable condition when I pass and I, I'm not being morbid, I'm just stating a fact. I'm also not one of those people who sits and worries too much about tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. I don't do it. I um, have learned to live in the moment. Um, I've been forced to learn that through how ill I've been. And I've been forced to learn that through trauma that my family's gone and is going through. Um, living in the moment means that, you know, you grasp every breath of life. You grasp every smile, every flower, every daffodil, every crocus that comes up and you enjoy everything to the max. I was going to say, if you can, you can. 
you can you can trigger as has been proven with me your mental state can trigger a lot of physical problems um with me and it's been gastric and my, i remember my cousin telling me my cousin in ireland telling me that um the gastric problems usually called by, caused by stress and emotional turmoil and I've read up a little bit on it and it's actually true um, and I've certainly had and I'm going through the gastric things I mean sometimes I can be doing a video and all of a sudden my stomach will start talking to me blah, 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 and I've got no control over it um, I hope you can't hear it or that you can't hear it too much, but I've got no control over that. Um, my weight now seems to have stabilised. I've gone up, I think I'm round about £95 this morning. Um, was it 95 or was a 96 i don't know let's say 95 pound so um i'm not seven stone yet but um i'll be happy to get to that weight and just to hover around it um i'm not overly tall and i've got a small frame i've got little little tiny wrists as you can see and little tiny ankles um so i haven't got a large frame at all um and i'm not gonna worry about my weight that's thing on my mind i'm not gonna worry about tomorrow i'm not gonna worry about next week i'm not gonna worry about the dentist i'm not gonna worry about anything I'm just going to attempt to grab each moment and to enjoy it to the max. I remember when um, Al asked me to marry him. It was very romantic. And he said, <laughs> he said to me, I'll marry you tomorrow if you want, if you want to marry you tomorrow. I said, okay, then let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> and we did. And I remember, this is a story for another video. I, so, sorry, excuse me, where are you? And um, I remember the run up to the wedding, the scramble to, I was so shy, so shy. Do you know, I didn't even try my wedding dress on in the shop. I bought it and came out of the shop and she came running out after me to say, um, where's the money? It's not there. I'd handed it to her, of course. And I, I was 16. I had no confidence. And I said, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I gave me the more, more money to pay. And then the other woman came running out of the shop. So he found it, it had fallen behind the till. So um, that, but I never brooded on stuff like that. Like I have been brooding on things that I can't change. And that's what I'm saying. Stuff that you read in the news um, reports, people on making videos about what you should be doing and how things are going to affect you and things are going to get worse they're not going to get better well maybe that's so you can't change them so live in your own little space look after yourself look after your family and enjoy the moment enjoy each moment as it comes because it's all we can be sure of that we've got this moment, we might not have the next. I'll be back later.